Motion capture is an effective technology for acquiring human dynamic movements. With the emergence of simpler motion capture devices, motion capture datasets only grow larger and more diverse. This creates a challenge for comparing different motion sequences and searching in motion sequence databases. In this paper, we tackle these challenges by introducing motion signatures. Such signatures are time scale and temporal order invariant, offering a succinct but descriptive representation of motion sequences. We assume that motion sequences can be broken down to smaller movements and can be characterized by the distribution of such movements. The simple movements are represented by motion words, which are narrow temporal windows in the motion sequence that represent the local evolution of pose. To define the signature, we first extract a set of overlapping motion words from the whole motion sequence, and then distill the motion words to a set of motifs, which are descriptive and frequent words. Motifs are found by clustering the motion words in feature space. The feature space is defined using a deep neural network. The network learns good features to represent the motion words and generates an embedding space by training using a triplet loss function. The embedding process places semantically similar motion words close together in feature space and semantically different words far apart. In the training using the triplet loss function, positive examples are either motion words that appear temporarily close in the training data or words that match using dynamic time warping. Negative examples are random motion words that are either temporally or postural dissimilar. The motion signatures themselves are defined as a bag of motifs. Now, two motion sequences are considered similar if their signatures are similar, which means that they have a similar distribution of motion motifs. In this example, we show four signatures from four different dances and also some selected motion motifs. The frequency of motion words in different clusters is illustrated by the color in the signatures, hot colors for high frequency and cold colors for low frequency. Note how highly diverse dances such as modern dancing have larger distribution of motion words along the signatures compared to other types of dances such as the Greek folk dancing which is more structured. Here we show the 2D embedding of motion clips achieved by comparing their signatures. Observe that contextually similar motions are placed close to each other. Note that signatures are independent of the length of the motion sequence and can be applied to sequences from a few seconds to several minutes. This allows to understand that two sequences belong to the same semantic group even if they differ in length and without requiring temporal alignment or exact matching. Moreover, our method can distinguish fine-grained differences between motions of the same class. In these examples, we can separate the two Kung Fu fighters and can separate the leader and the follower in the salsa dancing. Searching for motions in large collections is needed to facilitate recognition and reuse of existing data. In the following examples, we show instances of motion retrieval using our method. Here, the motion sequence queries are shown at the top, and the bars illustrate the similarity of their signatures to the motion shown in the window. The hue color of the bar corresponds to the matched motion query, and the color strength is proportional to the similarity to the query. Temporal segmentation of human motion sequences into distinct motion primitives is crucial for synthesizing, classifying, and understanding human actions. Using signatures, we can efficiently classify motion sequences into pre-trained classes of actions, segmenting motions into shorter motion primitives. In this example, a motion stream is temporarily segmented into parts that belong to seven different actions based on predefined signatures, where each one is illustrated using a different color. Motion signatures can also be used as queries to extract similar motion sequences from a database. In the following two examples, we show the five nearest motions to a given motion sequence query. We compare the retrieved motions using ours and other methods. Motions from a different class are shown in a different color. Results demonstrate 
that our method achieves higher accuracy compared to other methods. Another application of signatures is contextually consistent motion synthesis. In this example, we extend a motion by traversing a motion graph built from human dance motions. Simple traversal of the graph allows transitioning to contextually dissimilar motion, such as moving from salsa dance to Indian Bollywood style dance. Using signatures, we can constrain the synthesized motion to remain contextually consistent and produce more coherent results. In this example, we continuously synthesize a Greek style dance. Thank you for watching.